What's going on, everybody? So I want to talk about a few things, all right? This is all related to Restore the Snyderverse and Release the Air Cut, all right? So make sure to hit the subscribe, drop a comment, and all that good stuff. David Ayer came out a few days ago and said that he once again is apologizing for putting the tattoo that said damaged on, on Joker from Jared Leto. I want to say this, all right? Let's keep fighting for Release the Air Cut, all right? There's a lot of changes and a lot of things going on behind the scenes. If you guys are watching real close and just looking at WB and their moves, WB is very desperate right now. And this is the moment for us, United, to come together for Restore the Snyderverse because WB is weak right now. All right. David Ayer should not be apologizing. I repeat, David Ayer should not be apologizing for doing what he did to Joker. It is what it is. It's done. Leave it like that. All right. I enjoyed it. I liked it. At first, I didn't, but it grew on me. And now I enjoy it. All right. Jared Leto as the Joker in the current DCEU because he's still the Joker in the DCU slash DCEU. All right. Just because we have James Gunn doesn't mean that we don't have a Joker. The Joker's still there. All right. David Ayer should not be apologizing. As a director, you had that vision. That's what you wanted. That's what you gave us. Stick with it. Sorry, not sorry. You don't need to apologize to any of us. That's your vision. That's what you need to keep going with. I support it. I'm down with that vision. Release the air cut. We need that. And apparently, he put another picture with the Joker. That is the Joker that I want in the DCU. We do not have... Under James Gunn, no current Joker, all right? Everything else that's outside of the DCU, I'm not interested. I'm only interested within the DCU right now, slash DCEU, all right? Restore the Snyderverse, another big trending event that's coming up, all right? We'll get to that right now. We need to continue to stick together because WB is very desperate, all right? Shazam opened up in China, and the numbers are not doing good. That shows something is coming. I'm telling you guys, keep on holding on to faith and hope. Faith and hope is something that nobody can take away from you. And there's nothing or anyone that will take that away from me personally. All right. I know it's going to happen within time. The same thing was said to us when the Snyder Cut didn't exist. You remember how many times it doesn't exist. Oh, but you guys are still fighting for something that's not real. Well, it's real, all right, because it's sold out and it keeps on selling on the shelves on physical media, right? All you toxic James Gunn fans just don't want to admit it. All you anti-Snyder fans just don't want to admit it. Accept the facts. The facts are in your face. Ever since Walter Hamada came on, everything has been going down the shitter and everything is down the drain. And things continue to get worse. Everybody that's supporting James Gunn, I'm not calling you a fake fan, so don't take that like I'm saying it. It's just you're not the one that we are trying to go with. We do not run with gun. We run away from gun because we want the vision to continue and end properly for Zack Snyder. All right. It's not that he's our Lord and Savior or nothing of that. No, it's just that Zack created something with the DCU and then WB pulls the plug and they stop it. Why? Because they're too scared. WB are punks. They're scared. And then what happened after five years, us fighting together, united, we got, boom, the Snyder Cut. And all those people are saying, no, it doesn't exist. Boom. They all stay quiet. And the same thing right now. Keep on laughing at us. Keep on saying that it's not going to be restored. Wake up. It's coming. WB leaked their own cameo of Wonder Woman and Shazam 2. That says a lot. They did the same thing with Batman versus Superman, with Doomsday. Y'all remember that? So since the beginning of time in the DCU, DCU, we've been fighting against WB. And we will continue. Do not give up. Keep on holding on to faith and hope. Keep on fighting for Restore the Snyderverse. Now is the time that we have to attack even harder. A symbolical message, not a literal. The attack is, what? That we do not stop for Restore the Snyderverse. 
That's where we, the fans, come in. Why? Because, hey, cha-ching, we speak with our wallets. And we're showing you clear in China that the numbers are not meeting their expectations. Even David Zaslav is saying it now. Hey, if under James Gunn it doesn't work, we're going to reconsider. You better, you, you damn right, you better reconsider. You better bring back Zack Snyder, continue what he had, and move forward with that. Stop being scared. That's the whole point of DC. That's different from Marvel. DC is dark. It's always been dark. That's exactly what you guys have been known for. And that's what we fans enjoy and we like. Zack Snyder gave us that dark, greedy tone. A lot of y'all don't want that and can't handle that. Because y'all betas. Y'all just can't handle that type of stuff. I am not a beta. I like that gritty, dark, torn down, worn out Batman. That these people have been in fights and battles. You can't have a superhero all the time smiling and laughing with glitter. These people are out there saving. They're out there fighting. That's the whole point of hope. You fight for something that you believe in. And faith is something that hasn't happened yet. And it will happen. Don't give up. Restore the Snyderverse. Release the air cut. Now they're talking about something. There's a rumor that. James Gunn wants to maybe bring back Will Smith to play Deadshot. Go for it. James Gunn knows that he's in hot water right now. This is the moment for us to come from all angles. Restore the Snyderverse. Look, like I said, I'm not down with the whole sell Zack Snyder's Justice League to Netflix. That's a whole different off topic. I'm fighting for Restore the Snyderverse and Release the Air Cut. Those are the only two hashtags that I use for everything and everything that's related within the DCU. That's the ones that we have to keep pushing. That's the ones that got us the Snyder Cut. Y'all remember that we were all together fighting for it. But a lot of y'all have given up. A lot of y'all have gotten weak. And a lot of y'all think it's not going to happen. That's the whole point. I said it from the beginning. James Gunn was the Trojan horse. I've been saying that. But y'all don't listen. Y'all don't, y'all, y'all don't take me serious. James Gunn is no good for the DCU. James Gunn has no idea. And now he's going to direct Superman? He's directing it, writing it, producing it. Everything him, the dude's high on himself. What they did to The Rock, what they did to Henry Cavill, they're going to do that to everybody else. But we have to keep on fighting. Don't give up. Make sure to hit the subscribe. Drop your comments, all that good stuff. Restore the Snyderverse, release the air cut, and until next time.